Good morning, grade seven. Uh, we know you have. Uh, uh, we have completed, I think, fourteenth topic, and that was related to algebraic formula, isn't it? Now, instead of going to the last topic, that is statistics, let us solve few problems related to our fourteenth topic from miscellaneous problems set two. It is given on page number hundred. You can see of your notebook. In that question five. which is expand i have written it on the board you can see expand this using the formulas which we have studied earlier so let us do this problems because they are based on the same formulas which we have learned in topic 14 now look at the first question students it is same as a minus b the whole square so first write the formula a minus b the whole square is what a square minus 2ab plus b square we have done this now what is my a my a is 2a and what is b b is equal to 3b now this minus sign is taken care of over here so while writing a and b do not write the value of b as minus 3b are you understanding so wherever there is a in formula you will write only 2a and wherever there is b you would write only 3b not minus 3b is this clear so let's proceed now so you have 2a minus 3b the whole square is equal to first is a square a is what 2a the whole square because there are coefficient term variable we have over here 2 as well as a as a so 2a the whole square minus second is what 2 into what is my a 2a into b b is what 3b this is first term this is second term and third term is plus sign and what is your b 3b the whole square it is not only the square of b how many elements are there in the b you have to put square for all of them so i am using brackets all right okay now this square goes for 2 as well as a 2 square is 4 a square of a is a square done minus Two twos are four. Four threes are twelve. A into B is A B plus three square is nine. B square square of B is B square. So this is your final answer. I hope it is clear. Now those who know how to solve it, you solve on your own, and then you can check from the video. All right. Do not copy. It is not mandatory or it is not necessary every time you should be copying, because this has already been learned by. you i expect you to do it on your own and then check from the video if you are doing it in the right way if something is wrong you can correct yourself all right let's go to the second problem from expand so second problem from expand is 10 plus y the whole square 10 plus y the whole square which formula are we going to use now Plus is there, so a plus b the whole square. What is the expansion? A square plus two ab plus b square. Write what is a. Your a is ten, isn't it? And your b is y. Now substitute ten plus y. The whole square would be now a is what ten. So ten square plus two into ten into y. Plus b is what y so y square. Here two elements are not there in that term and therefore only without bracket also I can write. Here also I could have written without bracket so you can write just ten square. Okay. There is only one element over here so hundred ten square is how much hundred plus two tens are twenty y plus y. square so this is your very easy no the, just put into the formula so that's your final answer we got so we have 100 plus 20y plus y square okay let's go for the third problem shall we move on so third question is p by 3 take down this huh? Please solve. So third question is now p 
अपॉन थ्री प्लस क्यू अपॉन फोर द होल स्क्वायर नाउ दिस इज अगेन ए प्लस बी द होल स्क्वायर विल बी ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर वॉट इज योर ए नाउ योर ए इज पी अपॉन थ्री एंड योर बी इज क्यू अपॉन फोर सो पी बाय थ्री प्लस क्यू बाय फोर द होल स्क्वायर विल बी पी बाय थ्री दैट इज योर ए सो ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू इंटू ए इज वॉट पी बाय थ्री इंटू बी इज वॉट क्यू बाय फोर प्लस बी इज वॉट क्यू अपॉन फोर द होल स्क्वायर डन ओनली सब्सटीट्यूशन नाउ स्क्वायर ऑफ पी इज पी स्क्वायर स्क्वायर ऑफ थ्री इज नाइन 